So in this series of videos, we're going to move on from this idea of like maximizing profit in the short run and long run to the idea of minimizing the cost of producing some amount of output. So suppose um, we have two units, have two inputs, I should say, and the amount of those inputs, x1 is the amount of input 1, and x2 is the amount of input 2. that have costs of W1 and W2. So the cost of, of one unit of input 1 is W1, and one unit of input 2 is W2. And we want, so suppose we have these two inputs with these costs, and we want to figure out the cheapest way to produce y units of output, or y is some number, given some production function, what does that problem look like? We want to produce, or we want to figure out, maybe is a better way to put it, figure out the cheapest way to produce y units of output given our production function. And let's leave our production function really general as well. Production and function over here. Let's say the production function looks just like this where f is that, you know, that function and it takes these inputs and, and gives some output. So different types of technology would have different production functions, right? Well, what this problem looks like is that we want to minimize w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 such that or subject to we're producing y units. So this is the total cost of producing a production, and we're constraining ourselves to be at least producing, or producing exactly actually, y units. And we get to pick how much of each input to use. The solution to this problem, and we're going to talk about how to you know, graphically represent this problem as well as how you know use algebra or calculus in order to solve it as well. It's going to look a lot like our. Uh, it's going to look a lot like our utility maximization problems we saw a few chapters ago. But the solution will be a function of w one. W2 and Y. And so, in general, remember, write the solution. This is like this cost, which is a function of W1, comma, W2, comma, Y. So this is the minimum cost of producing Y units of output with input prices of W1 and W2. And so this is kind of like the solution to the problem. Now, we need to talk about how to graphically represent this problem so we can understand what we're doing. Um, and then we can talk about the approaches we can actually have to solving this. And it turns out they're going to be very, very similar to the approaches we saw with consumer um, utility maximization problems. So we can represent, we can graphically represent um, this problem and a solution to it using the concepts of isoquants, which we've seen before.
sorry for this, we've got to change color, maybe it's not changed or not, concepts of uh, iso quants, which we've seen before, and something new, which we're going to call iso costs. So let's erase this board, let's remind ourselves about what iso quants are, and then let's introduce this concept of iso costs. Then we can bring it together and, and kind of talk about what graphically what this problem looks like and, and a solution to this problem, which maybe we can just get from graphically and then we've got to deal with some other kind of extreme situations that we might encounter.